Well, fortunately, I've been at your service for around uh, even over one year, approximately over one year. And, yes, that's uh, my pleasure. The pleasure is all mine. Uh, so we have been just practicing English with each other, and uh, I. I I can see that you have uh, made a great progress. You know, at first uh, I could notice that you mispronounce some words, uh, but yeah. uh, this is not the case anymore. Uh, I want you to just uh, give some information, first of all, to me and to the listeners of this podcast, that what did specifically you do uh, to improve your English? And do you have... Uh, any particular strategy or technique that can be of good use to other people that you can actually mm -hmm. teach them as a matter of fact or show them how to learn English how to for example improve vocabulary how to improve your listening ability and so on and so forth we have four skills in English listening, speaking, reading and writing uh, you can explain about uh, each of them And many other right. things, you know. I, I just want, in simple words, I just want to know how, uh, let's say, important it is for you to have some strategies, techniques to develop your, to improve your English. Yeah. Right. Actually, first of all, I have to mention that when I uh, decided to uh, learn English very serious, uh, I was confused that uh, how should I start And mm -hmm. um, how can I uh, actually, um, some of my friends um, actually just told me that um, you should go to the class, uh, you should attend some uh, class, uh, you should watch uh, English movies and uh, uh, etc. Uh, however, uh, when I um, actually attend on your class, mm -hmm. uh, in your class, Uh, I could um, I could um, actually uh, manage my time uh, and I could gain uh, my knowledge about English about pronunciation uh, I I can see my progress I, mm -hmm. and I and I'm really satisfied about this issue yeah, because is um, yeah. Yeah, yeah hopefully uh, because uh, Before that, uh, before that, I at attend uh, in your class. Mm -hmm. uh, I wasn't noticed about that. Uh, um, I didn't think that it is uh, so important when mm -hmm. I want to speak English. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, when so I learned, fact, this is, yeah. um, sorry to interrupt you, but this is a major problem that so many students have that they don't exactly know where to start. And, yeah, exactly. Uh, at the very beginning, the procedure, because it's like a journey, the procedure is rather confusing. And yeah. uh, do you think that actually uh, a person, a student, uh, needs to know himself or herself about actually their personality, whether they are visually oriented or auditorily oriented, whether they they learn uh, dominantly from watching? and listening or reading or writing do you think that it is important and uh, has it been important to you yeah i think it is so important for any person that know himself or herself because mm. uh, when you know yourself you can uh, choose uh, your way how uh, actually how you can um, learn this language how you can learn this skill not even uh, actually not just language mm -hmm. and because of this issue um, any person I, I think any person should know him or her mm -hmm. uh, himself or himself uh, herself and um, I think um, it's a import it's an important issue uh, if they want to learn anything uh, they should actually choose their ways mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. And what about regularity? You know, because some people believe that uh, learning a second language is like, for example, going to the gym. And you need to go to the gym regularly, not in a case that, for example, you go there and there is a one-week gap in between. Yeah. You see what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, I know. And uh, regularity also is so important because... Uh, 
as you mentioned uh, before, uh, when you want to learn English, English language, you have to do uh, many practices. And uh, you cannot just uh, actually learn some new words mm -hmm. in a week. And uh, if you don't practice, um, you will forget that. And you have, uh, you have to uh, actually uh, write some notes. Uh, otherwise, um, actually, you forget that that new words or a new grammars point, a new grammars issue that you already learned. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, regularity it's uh, so important. It's so important. Okay, so. Yeah. Uh, thank you. You said that regularity is important and uh, also uh, you mentioned that you need to practice all the four skills together. This is called skill integration because in the past there was a dominant belief that, uh, for example, you should learn different skills and components, for example, grammar, vocabulary in isolation. That is, right. for example, now it's time for grammar, now it's time for vocabulary, and in each of these categories, we do not practice the other. But these days, people have, or scholars have uh, thought about it otherwise, and mm -hmm. they think that actually we should practice all of them together. And in our classes, if you have noticed, for example, when it is time to practice grammar, we may just uh, make a link to vocabulary. And yeah. for example, if it is time to practice vocabulary, if there is a, a grammar problem, we may just uh, focus on that and talk about it and explain about it. And so everything is uh, integrated to each other or naturally linked. Do you exactly. think that it is helpful or uh, you think that it might be confusing? Yeah, of course it was helpful. Uh, as you mentioned before, uh, it is so important that um, actually uh, you learned all of the uh, four skills. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, speaking, listening, writing, and reading. Mm -hmm. uh, actually, together. you should learn yeah, together. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, it, it could be uh, very useful. Mm -hmm. If uh, someone wants to, uh, someone wants to learn English language or any other languages uh, in mm -hmm. the world. All right. And the yeah. last question is that: uh, Do you have any particular plan or change of plan? You know, in response to your future uh, mm -hmm. and future plans or goals to learn English. For example, in the past you had some strategies. But you have noticed that, well, I, I need to change it because of that. Uh, do you have any change of plan in this regard? Actually, um, uh, I want to change my plan about uh, the uh, actual level of my learning. Mm -hmm. um, I think I can learn uh, many things about business, uh, English in business. Uh -huh. in future and I really interested in that um, particular issue uh, uh -huh. and I really enjoyed that I see yeah well, uh, because I believe that some uh, language learners second or mm -hmm. foreign language learners could to some extent know themselves in the course of learning uh, the second language for example, uh, they may come up with some information about their personality trait that for example they are so sensitive to the details or they they are sensitive to the whole or for example they get uh, upset easily or not this is called a language ego or right. the effect of language on um, let's say your personality and the other way around because language learning can reveal to some extent your personality that's why mm -hmm. I was curious to know your idea about that all right, right. thank you very much dear Arish. you're welcome uh, you have been of great uh, help to, uh, to me thank and you. to the listeners of my youtube mm -hmm. channel and i wish thank you luck and success in every aspect of your life thank you so much you're welcome and mm -hmm. have a great time take care you too thanks bye bye, -bye.